YouTube. How's it going? Today we're talking about positivity after miscarriage okay. and high risk okay. pregnancy. As you guys know, we went through both. Um, we're gonna talk about, I wanted my husband to be here too because a lot of times only the way women feel is talked about after miscarriage, after high risk pregnancy. So I wanted to let you guys know what men are thinking and what his response was or how he's trying to be positive this pregnancy because we are pregnant again. So let's talk about first uh, miscarriage. We got pregnant in 2020, in 2020. I made videos about this before on my channel, but we lost that one after at six weeks. And I felt like he kind of uh, maybe shut down a little bit. And I didn't talk about it much. So we want to talk about why do you think you uh, shut down or didn't want to talk about it? Uh, just as far as the, the miscarriage? Um. I was trying to just be strong and just by doing that, I believe I kind of shut myself from um, like really feeling it and and, and just uh, uh, mourning, uh, mourning uh, uh, the loss. I just didn't have time. I felt like I needed to be strong for her and, and just move forward and, and I realized that due to when she got pregnant again with Gianna, it affected it affected um, the way I, I was acting because she was high risk. I was afraid that the same thing was gonna happen, so I kind of closed myself off to her emotionally. And we didn't know it was high risk with her at first after yeah. the miscarriage, but he didn't really get excited. No, I was very just waiting. I mean, I was just waiting and waiting to see like, oh, something gonna happen, or or I just couldn't enjoy it because of the fear of something bad happening. So that's how I I took it. And I think a lot of men want to fix it. And you can't really fix a miscarriage. You can't change it. And I know so for, for men, I guess, you felt like it was nothing you could do. and you just No, just very hopeless. And I mean, like, that's a, a place where Hi, you just feel like you can't do nothing about it. And you, I mean, you try to move forward, but you just don't know how to navigate a, a, with that. I mean, knowing that um, it's di more difficult on, on the on the woman that's actually carrying it, so it was uh, very hopeless on my end. So he was saying how he felt about it, and I know for a woman, for men it's difficult too because it is their child too, but I feel like for them it kind of happens. So he was saying how he felt about it, he wanted to fix it, and I think, and I, I didn't feel really supported by him, so we had lots of talks about that, and you know, I think what a woman really needs at that time, even though you can't fix it, is just to just to be there. Um, I didn't talk about it much either, except for with him, but that's something that I really like to bring up a lot. And a, a miscarriage is not just a one-day oh. event. I mean, it lasts for days. And so, with our next pregnancy, the high-risk pregnancy, everything was. I was nervous about that one too because of what we went through. He was nervous. You know, I was trying to be positive about it. I looked on YouTube for positivity videos and. I could tell he wasn't that excited, or he was excited, but he had my reservations. Yeah, he was. I was holding back because just I was just waiting for bad news at some point, and I just couldn't enjoy it or couldn't couldn't just get excited because I felt like I mean the rug was gonna get swept right underneath me. Like if I got too excited and it was gonna just hurt more than just kind of taking a step back and just kind of things play out yeah so that hurt my feelings a little bit but I was like you know I get it um, but I was trying to be positive I looked on YouTube for positivity videos like this one and things were going great we announced it and right after we announced that we were pregnant and found out the gender um, I had cervical insufficiency we found out and everything went kind of downhill from there so we had a miscarriage first we had to go through this high risk pregnancy unexpectedly so that kind of knocked us down. So um, after that, we're pregnant again currently with a boy. And after going through a high risk pregnancy and a miscarriage, I wanted to tell you guys how we're staying positive this time and how we've grown from the last two experiences. Um, I would say one thing you can do to be positive is, well, what I'm doing is just enjoying every day with the baby. Every day that your baby is alive, you celebrate that day. Um, what about you? Uh, for me, it's just getting to be more present and, and not think anything bad is going to happen. And just leave, leaving it up to God and, and knowing that, I mean, He's protecting 
our, our child. Right. Taking everything one day at a time, not jumping up to what if this happens, what if that happens. Just taking it one day at a time, enjoying every single day we have with the baby, still being excited, uh, praying, you know, just putting your faith in God that it's going to be okay, you know, this child is going to be okay. I also got off social media for a little while. You hear different things. So for me, I got off social media, um, something else, one day at a time, getting off social media. And I think that was... Just being mindful, I mean, just staying, trying to just think good thoughts and, and positive thoughts instead of just letting, like, uh, different stories that you hear on the internet or on on YouTube or stuff like that just uh, get a hold of you because then you could go into a, a spiral or that rabbit hole and it's, uh, you start start thinking bad things and you may put you in a bad uh, mindset. And stay off Google because Google makes it worse. Yeah, but yeah you don't want to jump too far ahead to the future. You know, you don't, don't expect bad things. Um, just expect good things because with her, um, I was negative in the beginning and you know things were going well. It did get really difficult and we almost, we had a few scares with our daughter, but I do regret that in the beginning I wasn't, I didn't enjoy it more. I was trying to be positive, but I did have a lot of fears and with this pregnancy I want to be more present and enjoy it so I don't have any regrets So why didn't you enjoy that or why didn't you do this and you don't want to have regrets in your pregnancy of why didn't I enjoy it more, you know, so you want to kind of be present and just take it one day at a time. I agree. And just support each other, you know, because men go through difficult times too when it comes to loss and how it was pregnancy and, you know, men not trying to fix everything, just being mindful of how your wife or your partner feels and getting through it together and enjoying it, you know, because it's a, it's a gift and it's a blessing. And even though it's hard or even though it's high risk, it can still be beautiful and it can still be a great experience. <laughs> so we just wanted to make this video and just encourage other couples or other women, other men you know how to be positive how to support each other and being pro positive after a loss or after a high-risk pregnancy and just taking every day for what it is so we hope this video helps some other couples that are dealing with fear or you know insecurity about their pregnancy uh, just try to stay positive you know pray keep your faith up get off social media and you know just take it one day at a time and also surround yourself with people that are positive whether it's family friends Co-workers, uh, so you feel supported when, when you're 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 having a down day or down time, and uh, lean lean on those people to help you get through the difficult times. Uh, Cause it's a it's a roller coaster sometimes, and it's not easy. But just having a, a good support uh, is key. Yeah, that really helps. So guys, I hope this video helped you guys. We, I really wanted to do this video, and I've been putting it off and putting it off. But I really hope that. It encouraged you and is helping you to be positive because we're still on this journey. We're still pregnant. We've had a few scares, but we're trying to still be positive. So we're also going to be showing you guys our pregnancy because this is a high-risk pregnancy. So we're going to be taking you guys on our journey. I also did a circlage video. You guys can watch that video. And just stay tuned for more updates and encouragement and videos from us and our experience. So we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs>